G'day guys, I'm Ben Tiley, I'm owner of Muscle Driver Australia and CrossFit Gosford. So what is, what is Muscle Driver? And uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity just to show you some of the stuff that we have. It's probably one of the, one of the biggest names uh, in the States. Um, and uh, we finally got some of the gear down here so we can start tapping into some of that good gear that the, our friends over in America take for granted. Um, so now we don't have to be putting up with some of the stuff that we have been for the last couple of years. Obviously, the, um, the, the flagship of, of Muscle Driver is, is the Pendulay Barbell name. Without, without a doubt, um, the highest quality barbell um, and most economical barbell you can buy, uh, backed up with your lifetime warranty. Um, if you manage to bend it, I'll bring you a new one. Um, but then on top of that as well, it's, it's everything else that goes with it. Um, the speed ropes, medicine balls, kettlebells, sandbags, GHDs, gym rings, ab mats, basically everything you need to set up a CrossFit gym um, and at a much higher standard than what is currently being set up with. Um, we have everything in the country, so you place an order, we can ship it the very next day. I want to show you some of the, um, obviously the, the bumper plates is a, um, is a big part of any CrossFit gym and any weightlifting facility. So I just wanted to run you through some of, some of the benefits of using the Pendelay brand as opposed to some of the other products that are available. There's, there's three plates um, that we have available. Um, we have uh, our, the Econ plate, um, our, and of course the flagship, our, um, our elites, both the black and our colored elites. Okay, I'm just going to place this up. So the, the Econ, which f for your everyday use in a, in a CrossFit gym, I haven't found, I haven't found a plate from my experience of, of a higher quality for, for the price. Um, it's a very high, uh, very high density rubber. The blow is very low. Um, you can see I'm doing some cleaning jerks with the 60 kilo plates, uh, sorry, the 20 kilo plates. The, um, the blow is very low, which is good for your bar, um, which is a safety concern as well. The last thing you want is bars bouncing up and into your shins or into the person training next to you as your gym gets busier and busier and people are packed in tightly together. If someone cops a bar going to the side of their leg, it's going to be an issue. Okay, so the, the, the Econ itself is a very smooth finish. Um, it looks the business. Um, it's a custom mold with the Australia um, symbol on it. We've got uh, the Southern Cross put on there as well, just to, um, they've gone about it the right way. We haven't, we've got them in kilos down here. Um, so, I mean, for your everyday use in a, in a CrossFit gym, you are not gonna find a more economical plate. Um, and one that will last a distance. The, the stainless steel insert is, is manufactured, it's part of the unit itself. It won't, unlike other styles of inserts, which is basically just held in by a couple of spikes, which is in turn just held onto the collar by a small weld. Once that weld breaks, the collar pops out, it's a complete throwaway item. I can't tell you how many plates I've gone through at, at Gosford. Um, enough for me to say I'm never gonna I wasn't going to spend my money on that again. This is actually molded into the unit. It's part of the unit itself. For this collar to come out, you would need to cut out the rubber itself. Okay, so even over a number of years, if this does become slightly loose, it's still going to stay in the unit. It's not going to become a throwaway item, which is what will happen with the other style of inserts. If you wanted to go higher end, now these plates, they are very well known. Um, you see them um, all over the place. Um, short of spending $600 on an, AW, on an IWF approved plate, you're not gonna find a better, um, a better elite plate. Custom print on them. Um, the ink will not wear off after many, many years. These can be dropped repeatedly. Um, with no consequence, again, very low blow. Um, the steel insert is going to absorb a lot of the a lot of the blow on your on your bars. Um, this is the 25 kilo uh, black. 
a link here, you can see how, how thin it is. You can really get a lot of weight on the bar um, for doing deadlifts and, and stuff like that. And again, with your 10 kilo, you see how thin it is. It's um, very, very solid, work, very well put together, made to very high standards. Um, so these are the plates that we, that we have available. Um, it, it came from the reason we got involved with Muscle Rub, it came from my experience and blowing out plates on a regular basis at my gym. And I decided I wasn't gonna be spending any more money on something that A, looked bad, performed badly, and needed replacing within six months. So that's how we got involved with Muscle Driver. They've done the right thing, they've given us brand new molds, um, they put everything in kilos for us. Our Rage balls, our medicine balls are the only, this is the first time that Rage made um, kilo medicine balls, we're the first place in the world to have them. Um, our slam balls have been made in kilos. Uh, we now have some decent matting in Australia for anyone who's had the misfortune of having to clean our one meter by one meter squares. Um, you want to get your hands on some of these stall mats. I'm kidding out my gym um, as soon as I possibly can. Um, and I'm not going to be breaking my mops cleaning that horrible mat matting that was never designed to have chalk anywhere near it. So that just gives you a brief idea of, of Muscle Driver. All the stuff that we have, they've done it the right way. We've come, they've come down, they've got a bunch of stuff down here. The bars have a lifetime warranty. Um, the plates all have warranties. Um, it's, everything's good to go. Um, just we want to get some good gear out to, out to the affiliates and some personal training gyms and some strength and conditioning gyms because I think we've been putting up with some bad stuff for far too long now.